Hi everyone. There's something very, very special that takes place when we come together as an assembly of people, a congregation to worship the Lord. Back in the old covenant, the whole nation of Israel would gather around the tabernacle and they would worship God and they would watch their high priest enter the Holy of Holies, enter that presence of God, and they would watch him come out and he would then speak and give the direction that they needed to hear. So that gives me some clue as to what needs to take place when we come together. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 150 that we can praise him with the timbrel, the dance, with stringed instruments, with flutes, cymbals, clashing cymbals. He says that everything hath breath, praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in Psalm 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So I see too often today that the focus is on the ambience, the focus is on the, the musicality of worship, the musicians, the instrumentation, the good singers, the layout, the technical things. That should not be the case. These things can just happen. We know that there needs to be some organization. But our focus, as with the people of Israel, is to enter the presence of God in worship as a body of people so that we can hear the Lord. We're not just seeing the singers and the instruments. Psalm 35 says, I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you amongst the many people. But in that there's a heart where God will manifest himself. So two things need to take place. The first is we need to give him all the glory. If the praise and the worship, if, if that doesn't take place, if it doesn't bring me to a place of complete acknowledgement of who God is, what he has done, what he is doing, then we're missing the boat. Our worship as a body of people needs to lift God up as an awesome God in spirit and in truth, coming from our hearts. The second thing is it brings us to a place where we hear his voice. That's why Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, how is it when you come together, everyone, each of you has a psalm, a teaching, a revelation, interpretation. In other words, when you come together, in corporate worship, as the assembly of the people, you can, you should, we need to meet our God. Hebrews 4.19 tells us that we can come boldly into the throne of grace to obtain mercy and grace in our time of need. In other words, in this place of worship, as a body of people, we meet God and God speaks. We need to hear the voice of God, not just in my individual life, but as the church, as the assembly, the congregation, let God speak. Let God arise. It's so important. God bless you.